This is the RCBS Pro Melt bottom pour lead furnace for casting. It's an 800 watt unit, holds a little over 20 pounds, and got great reviews. I considered the Lees, which are very reasonably priced. Um, from what I've read, they just don't seem to last, and I like to buy something that's going to last. I used a Lyman Mag 20 at a friend's house, and I was really impressed with it. It worked very well. Um, but I also read excellent reviews about these units, and RCBS has been a fantastic company to deal with. They've sent me the parts I've needed. They've just been, they've gone above and beyond, so I decided to give them my business as far as this goes instead of the Lyman unit. So let's take a look. There it is, out of the box. kinds of little parts and pieces. So it looks like the main unit is pretty much assembled in there. Um, just the handle assemb assembly for the valve needs to be installed. So I'm going to get that done. Okay, I've got my, my handle here. This is the limiting, limiting screw to adjust the movement. Okay, so that looks like that's the top part.
Now for the mold guide. These are your little guides. You adjust them to guide the mold where you want it to go. So your mold can rest on here to take the weight off of your hands and it can slide between these guides. Got two molds here, a Lee six cavity and a Lyman two cavity. They're not the same width, but they're pretty close. So if I were to set this up, I can adjust these to a position where it'll help make sure that I'm aligned that's going to be as good as it gets Adjust your height, get it all set up however you want. And just tighten it all up. There, all set up, ready to go. This is the 120 volt version. We'll make a 220. So on off switch, dial gauge with temperature readings. I bought a lead thermometer so that I can confirm the accuracy. Pretty decent sized pot. Overall, I'm pleased with it, and I think it's going to last me quite a while.